Hi everybody, my name is Joe Grisafi. Thank you for tuning into my channel and checking out my video. I have been buying Topps Project 2020 cards and this has renewed my interest in trading cards in general. While I'm backing off of the Project 2020 cards a bit because like many other people I overbought and it made me realize I'm spending all this money on new product when there's so much old stuff out there that I did not buy when I learned about it many years ago, in this case, decades ago. So what I have turned my focus to while I'm still buying some Project 2020 cards, I have turned my focus to something that has interested me for a very long time, but I'd get excited about it, but I wouldn't act on it. And I finally said, I need to do that. I'm spending all this money on new stuff that's future is uncertain while this old stuff is out there that is going to be rock solid as far as value goes, so I'm not wasting my money. And that product is the 1962 Mars Attacks set. I am on a quest to finish a 55 card set of the original run from 1962, and I have accumulated 12 cards already. I don't have any sequentially... They're scattered throughout the set, and they are all low grade. My goal is to get in, get a complete set of low grade cards, and then upgrade once I finish the set. Now, the challenge for me is, I know they're readily available on eBay, but the challenge for me is I'm only buying Mars Attacks cards when I have money in PayPal from selling other stuff. So I am running eBay auctions, and selling stuff online to acquire this set card by card. What's exciting is I'm finally finding a reason to sell stuff that I planned on selling in the first place. You know, my interests are Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and a, a small selection of other characters. Those are the two main focuses of my collecting. And now Mars Attacks. I am trying to get this full set. I will be after some of the newer sets, and I know I missed a big deal on Kickstarter uh, this year. I just missed it. Otherwise, I probably would have dropped hundreds of dollars on that campaign. But here are the cards. They are low grade, PSA two to three in most cases. I did show you a PSA five, which I got for under $40 on eBay, and it had, looks like it was in a real t retail shop for $155, so that felt like a real good deal. Um, but I'm trying to get in at under $30 a card. I know there are going to be exceptions. I know there are low-grade cards that are iconic, in demand, and here's Shrinking Ray. I'm about to show you one of them that offhand, I don't remember what I paid, but it was outside of my $30 range, which I fully expected. Forgive the reflections I'm trying to change that. Destroying a dog is rather iconic from this set, probably very controversial from the day it came out. The others that I know I'm going to pay a premium for, even for low-grade cards, are number one, The Invasion Begins, and Prize Captive, the close-up of the March and Capturing the Woman, and The Checklist. And the Lowest grade checklist I found online was $40. And that was all marked up in with soft corners. Earthmen landing on Mars. Washington in flames, which is kind of appropriate, relevant right now. Helpless victim and charred by Martians. Now, what I have today is... A package that arrived yesterday and one that arrived today. We're going to open these and see what I got. Now I know I accidentally bought a card twice because I didn't, I wasn't keeping a checklist for myself at first because I, any of them would do and I accidentally bought the same card twice. So I'm thinking it's one of these. Now first of all, let's look at Blue Moon, eBay seller Blue Moon. First, before I do this, if you are interested in helping me complete this set, Go to eBay and look up my auctions. My eBay ID is Hamburger Man, 
and look at my stuff. I've got some Lego on there that I'm trying to unload. I'm only buying Mars Attacks cards with that money. And I'm, some of that money is going to pay the bills, but others I put aside to buy this stuff. Now, back to this. Blue Moon, this is going to be a Mars Attacks card, but he mailed it. <sighs> Disappointed in the way this arrived. Look at that. It looks like it's got some thin cardboard inside, but that's that's not how you mail a trading card that's almost 80 years old. But we're going to cut into this and see. I guess I could just tear it. Nope, there's tape. The tape's stopping it. So let me cut the top off here. Get that card away from the top. That would be awful to cut right through it. I should have scissors. I should know better. It's just in another envelope. I sure hope this didn't take any damage. And I'm going to risk damaging it trying to open it. Let's see if I can peel that tape off. Blue Moon, disappointed in this. I forgot what I paid for shipping, but this is not good. Fortunately, it looks like it made it here safely. And I like this card, capturing a Martian. Number 25. The, ble the back looks clean. It's got a, I mean, obviously these are going to have soft corners, but this is actually pretty good shape. It's a rough cut across the top, but uh, pretty satisfied. I don't think I paid very much for it. In fact, let me look it up. I have eBay up here already. I will just go to my purchase history. And it is, he rated it very good to very good, excellent. And I paid $15. Okay, this is a card. I bought two of by accident, so I'm looking at the wrong eBay auction. So I need to go down to there. Okay, yeah, I paid $19.50 for this one. $19.50. This is the card I accidentally bought two of. So about 20 bucks, which is right on the money for me. I would pay 20 bucks across the board for everything if they were in this good a shape. Okay, good. He lucked out that this arrived safely. Still kind of feel like I should ding him. Comment on the packing quality. Okay, card number 25. Very happy with that. This has got to be more Mars Attacks. And hopefully it's a different card. I would love to add two different cards today. Scissors. Okay, okay. I also decided I'm going to start a Bat Laughs card set from the Batman TV show. And this was a low grade set to get me started. I already had three, and now I got these five, and it's a 55 card set. So, yeah, fantastic. Now, these are very low grade. I paid, I think I paid $9 plus shipping for these five cards. Let me double check that. Okay, $9.01 plus shipping. So about I'm in for about $13 on these. And there is Batman and Robin. Soft corners, creases. Couldn't tell that from the photo, but for the price, I'm okay with that. Just to get the set started. Batman, Robin, Commissioner Gordon, and O'Hare. And... The villains. Penguin, Riddler, Catwoman, Joker. And 
the bat cycle. And Cesar Romero. His hair's not as green as it should be. And the backs are just puzzle pieces. And a joke. Joke is a joke, 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 joke. And the jokes are like, oh, PK Penguin doesn't have, this one doesn't have a joke, this one doesn't have a joke, those are just puzzle backs. Bat laughs, what does a bat sculptor make? Answer, bat shoes. <laughs> and bats usually have a party on their blank, bat day. And lastly, when a bat doesn't know someone's name, he refers to him as blank. Batchima call it. Okay, those are terrible jokes. Terrible, terrible jokes. All right, guys, again, I would love your help trying to complete this set. You could help me by going to my eBay auctions, Hamburger Man is my ID, and taking a look at what I have to offer. I have some Lego that I'm trying to sell, Lego Dimensions, Portal 2, and Scooby-Doo, and some other stuff, Lady Death, um, Cyrocell, and various other things, and I will continue to do that throughout the year and use that money to get my Mars Attack set finished and my Bat Laughs set finished. I am trying to stop spending new money on collectibles. I'm trying to sell stuff to buy this old stuff. Take a look at my eBay auctions. Maybe you can find something that uh, you want that will help me get what I want. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow my Mars Attacks quest. And I'm thinking I'm going to finish by next year. I hope so. I'm off to a good start. So that's 13 cards out of 55 in a couple of weeks, maybe a month. All right, guys. I'm Joe Grisafi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.